I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find square roots of complex numbers. The question here is find the value of square root of 5 minus 12i in the form a plus bi. Now if I write square root of 5 minus 12i as equal to a plus bi then to get the value of a and bi I can actually square the left hand side and then equate the two. Two complex numbers are equal when their real parts are equal and when their imaginary parts are equal. So we are going to then compare their real and imaginary parts to get the solution. So let's begin by squaring both sides. So if I square both sides that is to say I'm doing 5 minus 12y square root whole square equals to a plus bi whole square. So we get 5 minus 12y on the left side and on the right side we get a square plus 2abi plus b square i square, right? So square of this term. So we have 5 minus 12y equals to a square plus 2 a b i and that makes it minus b square. Now on the right side we can combine a square with minus b square to get the real part and the imaginary part is 2 a b i. Right so this is 5 minus 12 i. Now in these two equations we have both sides two complex equations. Now if we compare the real and imaginary parts what do we get? we get a square minus b square equals to 5 and uh, we get 2ab equals to 12. So what we did was the real part in the both these equations is this. We equated them. The imaginary part was this. So that gave us two equations. Two equations and two variables, right? So now we could solve for the values of a and b with these two equations. So we'll solve these equations simultaneously, right? So let us say we have the two equations as 1 and 2. Now from equation 2, I can write b in terms of a as equals 2. 12 divided by 2a, right, which is equal to well, the imaginary part is minus 12, it's good I saw, it. minus 12, it is plus 2abi, so it should be minus 12 divided by 2a, and that gives me uh, minus 6 over a, right, so that becomes the value of b. Now let's move on to the right hand side and solve for these two. So we have the equation a square minus b squared equals to 5 and we know b is equals to minus 6 over a. So we'll substitute this value of b here to get a squared minus minus 6 over a whole square equals to 5 and that gives us a squared minus 36 over a squared equals to 5. Multiplying all the terms by a squared gives us a squared a to the power of 4, this times this, minus 36 equals to 5a square. Bringing them together, we get quadratic equation minus 5a square minus 36 equals to 0. Now this could be factored as a square. Uh, we are looking for a product of minus 36 and sum of uh, minus 5. So it is minus 9 times a square plus 4, correct? E equals to 0. That gives us two values of a, which is plus minus 3 from the first factor. And the other factor is a equals to um, plus minus square root of minus 4, that is 2i, is it okay? So these are the values of a which we get. Now we know b is minus 6 over a, 
So let's take these two values for the time being. So what I'm doing here is I'm selecting two values of A which are plus minus 3. So if I take A as equals to plus 3 and A equals to minus 3, what do I get for B? Let's calculate. So B is equals to minus 6 by A. So minus 6 by 3 which is minus 2 and b is equals to minus 6 by minus 3. If I take a as minus 3, that will be plus 2, correct? So in that case, I get two complex numbers which could represent square root of 5 minus 12i. And these two are, we know they are a plus bi, where a could be plus 3. In that case, we get 3, b is minus 2, so minus 2i or a could be minus 3 that is minus 3 in that case b is plus 2i so plus 2i correct so that is one set of numbers so we could write square root of 5 minus 12i as equal to uh, 3 minus 2i or minus 3 plus 2i so what do you see here is that in the set of complex numbers, we could get two numbers representing the square root. In case of real numbers, we always get positive roots. Here we get plus and minus. Do you see the difference? So basically, the square roots which we have got in this case are plus and minus 3 minus 2i. Do you see that? So that is what you get. So it's important to note that while finding square roots in complex numbers, you could expect two results. Now, in this particular example, I've taken values of A only as plus and minus 3. We should actually also try to see what do we get with this set, right? So, let's try. So, if A equals to 2i or if A equals to minus 2i, what is the result? For A equals to 2i, b will be equal to minus 6 by a which is minus 6 by 2i right and for a equals to minus 2i b will be equals to minus 6 by minus 2i so here the result is minus 3 over i which i could write as multiplying by i both sides we get minus 3i over i square which is indeed 3i correct on the right side we will get let me just mark this so that uh, b equals to plus 3 over i and if i multiply and divide by i we get 3i over i square which is minus 3i do you see that so in that case the complex number which represents will be a plus b i a is 2i so we could say the number is 2i and b value is 3i so plus b is 3i times i so that is the complex number right a plus bi so when you multiply i with i you get 2i minus 3 do you see that so which is same as we got earlier 2i minus 3 or minus 3 plus 2i if i substitute minus 3i in that case a is minus 2i. So, we get minus 2i minus 3i times i since this is b times i, right? So, that is equal to minus 2i plus 3 or you write this as 3 minus 2i and earlier we got minus 3 plus 2i. Do you see that? It is exactly the same result plus or minus. 3 minus 2i. So what you observe is that both values of a actually give you the same results. So that is very interesting to find. So in the test you can actually continue with one and you may have mentioned that for the other we'll get the same result. So it's a very important conclusion. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.